knocking. Oh. Oh. Quick, get in. How are you alive? You don't even have a gas mask on or anything. Oh, sorry. How do you hear me? How are you alive? Shouldn't the pollution have killed you? I don't know what's going on. The fallout. How did it not kill you? What fallout? What are you talking about? Are you okay? Oh no. You must be one of those people that participated in the cryo chambers before before the fallout happened. Well, um, how do I explain this? Uh, basically, nukes dropped all over the world. Yep. The only people still alive are, um, people that, uh, had bunkers, like me. Name's KP. Well, <laughs> names don't really matter these days, do they? <sighs> Just me and you in this bunker, right now at least. I have a, people out, full, a few people out scavenging for stuff, but uh, it's hard to find anything. But I'm, I'm so confused, how did you, how did you go outside? It should have, the, the radiation should have killed you within a matter of minutes. I don't believe you. There's no way that the current radiation levels outside are, are non-toxic. I mean, I guess I haven't checked in a while, but, but uh, uh, it's just so unlikely. You sure you're not some spy for an enemy base or something? All right, I'll trust you, but only because you were stupid enough to go out in the radiation without a gas mask on. Even the members of the enemy team wouldn't do that. Those guys are idiots. You must be real dumb, huh? Well, I guess if you're going to be a new member of uh, our shelter here, I could give you some water. the fallout happened. We don't really have money anymore, but we do have bottle caps. Yep. America's produced so many of them. I mean, not as much as money, but it makes up for it. You know, I guess uh, since I'm feeling generous, I could uh, give you a 
bottle cap. Well, this isn't going to do you much better if you're out and about and you see a trader. Might give you a glass of water or a small snack, something like that. <laughs> you think did you get me sick or something? Ugh. All right, before I give you anything, I'm gonna have you just step in that chamber over there. No, it's not gonna hurt you. It's just gonna detoxify any any radiation you got on you. So go, go. No, I'm not gonna touch you until you do. All right. And I'm gonna pull the lever and it's just gonna release some stuff on you. Yep. Alright. Alright, you can step out. Alright, hopefully you're all good now, but yeah. There you are. Yeah, well, when countries get mad at each other, they throw a bunch of nukes at it and see what happens, and this. Why we live in the world today? Yeah. Why the bandana? Well, it's to represent our shelter, obviously, but also, I mean, if we're being honest, you know, it's just... I think... You know, I mean, just, you know, this is just a me thing, but I think I look kind of cool with it, you know? Like, no? Whatever. So. I'm so confused. You don't look rich. Really? A dude that wears a t-shirt and basketball shorts was able to pay for a cryo tube hmm. I'm not sure if I can trust you well we're kind of stuck down here until the others get back and uh, we're not going outside I still won't believe you. There's no way it's not toxic. How long were you out there? A couple of hours? Ugh. Hmm. All right, computer. Yes, we have a super computer. Oh, yeah, you're from the 2000s, aren't you? Well, it'll be 2008, buddy. Anyway, computer. <clears throat> Get in contact with the others. Yes, I'd like them on call. Hey, guys. Had a great time, man. Yeah, What's so the Listen, I have a... Uh, Someone here who survived in a cryo tube. A cryo tube? They were outside for a couple hours. It shouldn't be possible, but I found them outside with no gas mask on, so. Oh, good news, man. You guys read the, the readings? Not toxic. Your safety levels have gone down. You guys don't have gas masks on, and you're, you're fine? Yeah, man, that's, that's great. Good. Um, yeah, it's incredible. Uh, I didn't didn't think the readings would drop that quickly. Yeah, man, we don't know what's going on, but we got a lot of stuff. Right, well, you guys should get back to base with some supplies. We'll have a big dinner since we got a new member of the Fallout. Alright, man, right. we're on our way. Alright, see you guys in a bit. 
and geek Oh, well, I guess your story checks out. Welcome to the team. And if you don't want to join, well, it's either join us or go out back into the fallout and fight God knows what, so you're kind of stuck. Do you get one of those funny looking bandanas? Yes. There. <laughs> All right, well, you're lucky we found you. You know, um, we crewed their uh, bunch of hooligans, but they'll get you through. So, stick with us, kid. Yeah, well, once they get home, uh, we'll put away the findings and uh, we're gonna head back out. And you're gonna come with. Don't worry, I'll give you a weapon. For sure we have something. Get your bandana on. Mecha laser gun. This thing tears through those big, stupid bugs and leaves no trace of life. This thing will take them down. We won't have to worry about them. All right, ready to go. Oh, your weapon, of course. Um, so uh, we kind of ran out of really you know, like, uh, big laser cannons. So you are going to have to use this pistol. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Uh, we weren't expecting another person, and uh, they're kind of our secondary choice. But, uh, you know, uh, you get to work with what you, what you gotta work with, so there you are. All right. Oh, the others. Yeah, come on, guys. All right, this is our new member. Um, be nice to him, and uh, we're gonna go go out for another run. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, make sure you put all the supplies over there. <sighs> okay. We don't need our gas masks today, so we should just be able to run out. Let's do it. All right, let's go. 